Wait, am I really? Okay. Thanks for letting me know, YouTube, <laughs> what I'm gonna do. Good morning, people. I'm feeling better today. I was a little under the weather for a few days, you guys. All right, while people are hopping on, I'm just gonna settle in here because I have some stuff in my mind today. Mary, are you watching? <laughs> I can't talk right now, I'm going live, Mary. Um, oh, that's very nice. Okay, so it's morning time here in my world. And um, I woke up today and I was feeling really much better. There we go, hi people. Good morning to you. How's everybody? Oh, I'm waiting for a moment so people can get on here so you can hear what I have to say because I have some stuff in my mind. I'm back. I was a little down and out for a minute there, you guys. I was a little down and out. Okay, so good morning, Nicole. Yeah, say hello to me, please. I'm saying good morning. Give me some love, people. How are you? Where are you from? Where are you watching from? Good morning, good morning. Good afternoon, maybe, if you're in Europe, or what time is it in Australia? Where's my Aussie people? Good day, mate. <laughs> what else do we say around the world? Um, any linguists out there? I'll, I just speak French and Spanish. I can do bonjour, I can do buenos dias, I can do buongiorno, that's Italian. Ni hao, I learned that from Ni hao Kailan. <laughs> it's Chinese, um, a cartoon with a little girl who spoke Mandarin. <coughs> anyway, hello, good morning. Let me just tell you, first of all, I feel so much better, you guys. I was awful. I had the worst headache for the past, it's like three day long headache. And I think it's because I ate some food I shouldn't have eaten and it just totally messed with my body. My stomach was like churning and it just set me off. You know how like when you get something like I won't say the food was toxic, although maybe it was, it was beef. It was a beef dish. I don't eat beef. I'm not a beef eater. I don't really eat a lot of meat. Good morning. You're in Charlotte. I love that. Thank you for, see what I'm saying? This is what I love, the interaction. That's why lives are fun. Thank you, Ken. Um, so I ate this dish. I went, so here's the deal. I was at a restaurant in town the other day. I did some work. I did some stuff online. I had, I was in one of my classes that I, um, teaching or participating in. And so I did the thing there, I did the live from there on, with class. And I just had like some water and like a lime aid. I wasn't really hungry. So I just had something to drink. It was kind of warm and that was it. But then people around me, it was like lunchtime when I was finishing up and I was writing some stuff down. From India, hola, hola, hi. Um, and I saw other people starting to eat and I was like, well, that looks good. Hey, Kwa, good morning, good morning, everybody. That's what I like, thank you. The interaction is the fun part. So I'm seeing these people eating their food and it was like a beef stew, it's beef bourguignon, beef bourguignon. How does uh, how did Julia Child say that? It's a French dish, right? It's basically beef stew. And they had like some boiled potatoes on the side of it. And I don't know why, because I never eat stuff like that. But for some reason that day, I think because other people, it was like little bowls of it, you know, they, they were eating it and I decided, well, I want to try it too. I want to have some, you know. And I was like, are you even hungry, Kelly? No, but I ordered it anyway. And I could only get through like maybe half of it because it was just heavy and ugh, like not my thing. The potatoes were good. I didn't eat, I didn't eat all the potatoes though. Anyway, I just felt like, oh, anyway, so for the past few days, my sister, I think that was like Wednesday. And can I tell you Wednesday, Thursday, Friday was rough because I just was not myself. And then my head started hurting and I had like, I had like a days long headache. One of those was just like a dull ache forever. So it was pretty bad. So let me tell you, here's why I need you. Good morning from Montreal. Uh, bonjour, are you French speaking in Montreal? So here's the deal. You know how when you don't feel well, everything else kind of just is off or is wrong. You'd be grouchy, you're not in the mood something like a small thing could go wrong and it feels like, ah, it's a big disaster. That's how I was feeling for the past few days. So little minor annoyances were really, really bothersome to me because I just wasn't, I didn't have the energy. I wasn't in the mood. I didn't feel like dealing with any bullshit. And so my car, oh my God. So it's like little stuff. Apparently my radiator didn't have any water in it. Well, I didn't know. That's why I take it to the, the place for people to put that stuff in there. That's what I pay them for. And so I was like smoking one day. I'm like, what the hell's wrong with my car? 
And it was a really minor thing, but I didn't feel like dealing with that. And I was tired and I had all this work to do. And I was looking like, yeah, you see my hair, I need to comb my hair. <laughs> it was just all the things. So I like bitched out the mechanic who came to my house. I cussed him out, I did, in Spanish and in French. I mean, not hard, hardcore, but I used a few choice palabras, palabras fuertes. I did, I did. And, you know, I guess I just needed to vent because I wasn't feeling well. So, but here's the bigger message, the bigger, good morning, Hugh. What happened to new visitors? Well, here's what I want to tell you guys. So, so many people write to me or they, I, I talk to people and they're like, oh my God, you're living in paradise. You have this amazing life and it's wonderful. And like, as though by living here, by having left the US, poof, all my problems are solved and life is amazing. And I mean, life is pretty good, I have to say, right? Like I have a really wonderful quality of life that frankly is not available, at least not at the same price point in the US. You can live really well in the US, but most people aren't living that, that well, where they have help in their house and they have, you know, a driver if you need one, or you have someone to cook for you. I mean, those kinds of things are very expensive and you can live in a big fat villa. Hi, Athena. Thank you for subscribing. That's so wonderful to hear. Uh, welcome. Pull up a chair, get comfortable. Um, you know, to live really, really well, like extravagantly in the US is is way out of reach for most of us, right? Like it just doesn't happen. There's, that's, that's why it's 1%. Um, and to live here, I mean, I'm not, you know, living extravagantly, but I'm definitely comfortable and it's doable. But here's the thing. It's not just because I moved to the DR and suddenly my life is, is perfect or everything's lining up that way. There are still annoyances here, people. And that's why I want to tell you. That's why I was like, leave your baggage at home. Do not come here. Don't go wherever you can move. You can move to Dubai. You can move to Tanzania. You can move to Australia, wherever. Then you can move across town. The way you are is going to travel with you you so if you have a key attitude or you're always nitpicking at people or you're quick to snipe on somebody because they did something wrong that's not going to be different because you're living in a place with palm trees all over that's not going to be different and so start practicing getting your shit together now i'll tell you quite honestly because i'm it's so funny because the mechanic came up yesterday also to just double check on me and make sure things were fine and all that stuff and he was like are you mad today? Are you mad? Are you mad? He's kind of joking. He's like, are you mad today? Because I told you I let him have it the other day. I let him have it. Have it. I was not in the mood. And I was feeling a little bit better when he came up. My head wasn't pounding as badly as it was before. So I was like, no, I'm cool. I'm cool. But I let him know. I said, listen, when I bring my car to you, it's your job to check the oil and to check the this and then make sure that I don't, that's not my job. That's why I bring it to you. That's why I'm paying you. And, but what I liked about it was that even though I yelled at him in front of other people, by the way, the other day and like cussed him out. I did it in English and I did it in Spanish. No, I did it in Spanish first. I did it in English. I did it in Spanish so you could understand. Then I did it in English because I just had to let it go. <laughs> I had to let it out. And my skills aren't that good at cussing in Spanish. <laughs> Maybe I should practice. I don't know. But they're pretty good in English. So I had to let that out. But even though he, good morning, New York City. Um, even though I did that, he was nice enough to come back. And that's because basically when I go see these people, I treat them with respect. I am kind. I am patient. Even when stuff is like, no, that's not what I said. Do that. You know what I mean? Even when things aren't quite right. And so, you know, he came back and he was kind of teasing me like, are you mad today? And I was like, no, I'm not mad at you, but get it right. You know, don't make me have to come down there or go off on you again. And so that's like a little nut of a message, right? But the bigger picture that I'm trying to convey is how you are at home, how you are on your job, how you are with your family and your friends and your community. That's going to be how you are. Even if you're living here, it's not like, Oh, well, I moved to the DR. And so suddenly everything's all perfect, right? People are always like, Oh my God, you're living your best life. And it's so good for you now. And that's how come your life is great. And I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, obviously it does help to have like sunny days and great food and not hear all that crazy madness about politics all the time or one horrible thing after another. I don't hear that, but that's because I choose not to. I could be living in the US and still tune out to an extent. It's different because you guys don't have the same ability to just tune out because I feel like, like when I came home for vacation in um, August, 
it was like insane. I mean, it's like everybody's talking about it. That's all the news is. That's all whatever. And I was like, well, why do people watch it? Like, why are you inundating yourself? I could see like checking in to see what's going on. You want to be informed. But why would you inundate yourself with all that negativity? Why wouldn't you choose to either turn off the TV or to be much more selective about what you're watching, what your news sources are, and how much you're watching? Only 26. I have no idea what you're talking about, Sanjay. Am I 26? Uh, no. Here comes my son on the moto. Pardon me, I need to greet my child. Hola. Como están? Si. Andresito, todavía en tus pijamas. Dile, dile gracias. Thanks, Orlando. Ah, si. Ok. Tu puedes subir. I have to go open the door. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hold on. I have to open the door for my people. Uh, uh, la puerta principal, okay? Sí, sí, porque está allá. Andrew, come to the main door. Be right back. Hold on. This is my handy dandy friend. See there, I get served. He's going to refill my water bottle. See? I'm gonna have to pay him. Well, I already did pay him before, but you know. I know he has a helmet. He has a helmet, but he didn't um he didn't go on the quad yesterday. He rode in a car, and so he didn't have it with him. He has a helmet. But thank you. And he wanted to come home now. And I someone's coming to someone else is coming to my house, so I couldn't go get him. And he wanted to come home now. So I was like, all right. Anyway, what was I saying? I think I was talking about the relationship I have with these people here. I mean, people everywhere, right? So I'm basically a nice person. You guys can tell, right? I'm a very kind person. I'm fair. I'm decent. I don't just walk around like I'm not grouchy all the time. I'm not looking to get over on people. I don't assume people are looking to get over on me. I don't like move in the world like that. I... I'm fair and reasonable and decent and patient. Usually I can be a little impatient. I can be a little bitchy at times so I don't feel well. And that's what happened the other day. That little bitchy part came out. Ooh. And, um, and I let him have it. But, but because I built up all the, like, the goodwill, this man came up here. He wrote me a message the next day. Like, everything okay? And I was like, no. And I don't know. You know, like, no. And I was like, the emoji with the hand over the face. And I was like, ugh, how annoying. So he came up and um tinkered a little bit picked me up and that's when he's like are you mad at me like don't be mad you know Nick, a little flu but not like in it not in the not in the wrong kind of way so it's fine and so that's what i was saying I'm like so people think oh, hi brian from the bronx hey garcia hi um tell me if you can see me my thing went off it was doing the buffering and then went off in it Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to proceed as if you couldn't see me. Someone give me a thumbs up or say, yes, we can see you, something. Um, it's not external stuff that causes your life to be good or bad. It is not. Certainly having money can make things more accessible to you, can make things feel easier, you know, can avail you wonderful services, like someone to help clean your home or not help you, but do it for you, or you know, whatever, you know, getting organic food, whatever it is, buying a nice new thing if you want, a car or a dress or what have you, a house. Of course, money can help you do that. Money's not going to make you happy, right? You have to be happy, and then all the rest of it's going to work. You can be a, a, a billionaire, treat your staff like that, and they're not going to respect you, and they're not going to want to be around you. But you can also be broke and have people who are absolutely there to help you because you are kind to them. And so that's what I'm saying about, excuse me, I feel like I have a, a hair on my nose. Um, it's how you are moving in the world that's going to determine how well you succeed out here in it. So for all you people who are like, oh my God, I want to get out of the U.S., I want to retire there, I'm coming, help me find a place, all that, fine, come on, do it. 
But don't think that just because you're here, suddenly your life's going to just flip. Yes, will you lose stress just automatically? Yeah, you probably will. I mean, unless you're just all wound up and you're tight and you're ready to just, you know, go off on someone. That's you. That's you. Now, maybe sitting on the, on the beach with some drinks and, you know, checking out like your day-to-day -day stuff is going to help. It absolutely will. But you hear what I'm saying, right? It's that you have to make the change in yourself and you can start now. Don't wait till you get to a place. Trust me, you're going to be frustrated when you get here. People are going to do stuff that is customer service. Forget it. Now you'll run across people who are just really nice and helpful just because they're nice people. But as a rule, customer service doesn't really exist here. You can sit in a restaurant for hours and they may or may not come see if you'd like another something to drink, if you'd like, if you need another napkin, you know, how's your meal? That's not a thing, that's not gonna happen. So if you're thinking that people are just gonna be like falling over you or like, oh, now I can, you know, live like a king or queen, mm, not so much. It's close to suing. Sorry guys, what is with my nose? You know, I know somebody who does live streams and whenever her nose itches, well, thank you, Stan. <laughs> thank you. Whenever he's back with my bottle of water. Is it a 20 gallon or a five gallon? I don't know. But anyway, I watch someone and whenever her nose itches, she's like, oh, this means I'm like, it's like she's getting downloads and she says, oh, I'm telling the truth because when her nose itches, something's going on. So maybe I have that happening. I don't know. No, I do not. I do not. Take that comment down. I am clean and fresh and vibrant. I just showered for you guys. I mean, my hair is a little ratty, but whatever. I was gonna get my hair done yesterday, but I didn't feel well. I had to cancel my appointment. So, but you hear what I'm saying? It's like, seriously, if, our, if you're impatient, you're gonna be impatient here. You're gonna be really impatient here because you're gonna have to wait on some stuff, you know? And I don't mean just like wait in terms of time. Gracias, ciao, hasta luego. Um, not just in terms of time, but in, in terms of like getting things done right. <sighs> like, you know, why do I have to take my car to the place three times and then they realize, oh, sorry, we forgot to put, oh, it was a joke, okay, ha. Um, they, we forgot to put oil radiator. What kind of asinine stuff? I had to take them, take it back and tell them, put the, what's that, like the solution for a windshield wiper fluid. Like, you guys, they just, they're not thinking like that, right? Um, to different people. It's like my housekeeper, I could say some things to her like, okay, could, you know, by now she knows what I'd like for her to do, but I had to absolutely get her in a space where she was doing the things I wanted her to do on a regular basis. And I don't mean just service people. I don't mean to suggest that, oh, it's those people. They don't know how. And I'm not suggesting that like we're better somehow because, you know, I've had the benefit and the privilege of education. Haiti, well, in some places it's cleaner. I mean, certainly, someone commented on one of my videos, they're like, well, you know, you have a lot of privilege, and so, oh, was it when I was talking about prostitution, that people have been watching those again. And prostitution, and then my, um, my like, follow-up, the reaction video to, to what I did on prostitution, people are like, well, you know, you have all this privilege, and you're judging these women because they're doing what they have to do when they sell their bodies, and in some cases, their husbands and boyfriends are like, yes, go do it. I know that that's happening. I know that their families, these women have families, and in some cases, it is true that the husbands or the boyfriends will say, do what you do, we got to make some money. And I recognize I have lots of privilege. I recognize I was, had privilege of birth, accident of birth, being born in the U.S., which meant I had a certain level of health care. I had a certain level, level of education. I had family structure, not because of the U.S., but I happened to have a family structure that was very supportive. Um, Billy Garcia, write to me at freeislandgirl at gmail if you want to see real estate. Uh, Casa de Campo is expensive. Talk about that. Um, so I recognize my privilege. I recognize I'm sitting in pretty much a coveted position and then I as a single woman able to maintain a household like this by myself isn't just accidental. It's not because I'm so special and I'm so wonderful. I work my butt off. When, you, when I'm not on camera, what you don't see is I'm up all hours of the day and night on my laptop. Is it back? Yes. <laughs> I, oh my God, I, I gotta go. My new housekeeper's here. She's early. Good idea. Okay, I have to interview this lady. <laughs> Hola. Entra la puerta principal está abierta. I gotta go. It's my privilege kicking in. No, but seriously, guys, if you. Dame como dos minutos, por favor. Estoy grabando. Sí, okay. Pero puedes subir. Mira, eh, la puerta está abierta y tú puedes entrar. Y espérame en la sala, por favor. Gotta arrange this stuff. Um, 
my privilege of, of being educated and, and all this stuff, <clears throat> It obviously, obviously has given me great benefits, but I worked my off years. I've taken three bar exams. I'm licensed in three jurisdictions. I went back. I got a master's in law. I mean, I've spent a fuck ton of money and time and sweat and tears and tears for real studying and preparing and grinding. Ugh, I did that then. So now I catch my breath a little bit, but still now, I, t I spoke to a client of mine this, this morning in Los Angeles, sent out an email this morning, was up in the, I was up at 4 a.m. last night finishing up a, a document to send to some people in Los Angeles. I have five different jobs right now, you guys, five different jobs, maybe four and a half. I can't YouTube as a job, not really, but I mean, I'm on here on a regular basis trying to share information and just be like a positive force in the world. I see this as kind of like a service I can offer to people. Siéntense, siéntense, yo vengo, yo vengo. Espérame un momentito. I gotta go because you're waiting. Um, but it's like my point is I have a lot of stuff I'm doing. It's not just like oh I'm just oh, oh what flavor juice will I have today? No, not quite, <laughs> not quite. You know what I mean? I'm working. What you don't see behind the scenes is that I'm, I really am working. Um, but I'm working in a way that feels good to me that I enjoy. Tú también puedes subir si quieres. Ah, sí. The husband's waiting downstairs. Like he can't. Get, yeah, it's raining outside. Um, but, but who I am, like who I am, my personality, my, what I exude to people, what I try to exude anyway, is kindness and fairness and those things serve me well. So even when I have the really annoying situations, even when I have the stuff that's very difficult, porque ustedes están un poco temprano, saben? Okay, Jose, dame unos minutos, they're early. Okay, no está bien. Okay, <clears throat> what I, um, who I am is carrying over into my life. So the fact that I try to look on the bright side of things, which I look on my car, I mean, I was like, oh, let's get a new car. Was, that, was I annoyed? Yes. Yes, I was annoyed. Did I call up the guy who sold me the car and give him peace of my mind? I didn't call him up. I left him a couple messages. And I was like, you know, so I let people have it. I'm not just all sugar and light all the time. I have a spicy side too. You know, I do know some cuss words and stuff. And that, that's not my go-to. Like, I don't just cuss people out. I'm not saying that. But also, I'm not the one. Don't bring me the bullshit. I'm not that one. It's like, oh, well, I'll just take it. I'm a doormat. No, I'm not that. Um, but my sucking it up sometimes, even when I feel like stuff is ridiculous. And there's stuff that I feel is ridiculous here frequently. <laughs> you, if you've been here, you already know. And not just here, but if you travel, you know cultures are different. People operate in different ways and expectations are quite different. You know, standing in a line for hours might be something that's really easy for some people. I went to the bank at one point to, oh, thank you, Willie. When I went to the bank, this was months and months ago, last year at some point, I was trying to open up a new account down here. And I had all my documents ready to go. And it took forever, and then like, well, no, but now did you decide this? And they get, it, which wasn't, so you go and you get like a, this little, their, their document, which has like the list of things that you need to provide to open your account. Well, I did that, but the, you know, it, uh, it was a whole, but basically, trying to do something different, if you're trying to have, if you're not willing to be flexible, good luck, good luck, especially coming out here. It's very different, you know. I mean, even things like you don't like bugs, <laughs> get over it. It's tropical here. Every creeping thing is happening. And so I hate there. Don't bring it near me. I had to quickly get over that living huge. I mean, not all of them, but some of them are like enormous and thick, Ooh, disgusting. And I've come out on patio morning and seen one or two of them. They were dead, thank God. That's why I have cats there you know and i i called like orlando happened to be here one day and i was like come get that thing off of my thing or the guy who does the maintenance oh my god yeah the usa is nice in some ways but it also there's a cost it's a cost no matter where you are so i've given up some things by living here but i also have so much expansive so much expansiveness and i can have five jobs and do the things i want to do and still like be on my patio in my nighty <laughs> doing a video because whatever you know what I mean? Um, but I need to go and respect these people's time. I believe her husband's on his way to his job. So let me go. Mwah. It's a quick one this morning. I'm gonna try to come back this evening with Mary and Nicole. If Mary and Nicole, if you guys are watching, get ready, because I'm coming now. I wasn't ready last night because I didn't feel well. Tonight, it's on. We'll be back. I love you guys. Be nice.